check out Buena Vista Park in San Francisco. There's a lot of nature around and in San Francisco people don't realize. That's pretty, huh? San Francisco Park only. This was a rough time getting here. San Francisco is, is so hilly and my brakes are like smelly and everybody's honking at me because I'm driving too slow. But, uh, get to decompress. Decompose. Redwoods. So nature helps. So nature is so healing. I know it keeps saying it. I just don't know. Words can't describe. I was so stressed out driving in San Francisco. <laughs> I have very low tolerance to city traffic now, but we wanted to uh, get out of the fog and uh, see something new. It always helps. There's even studies to show if you go to new places, it's good for the brain. But as soon as I get into this areas with the trees, everything shifts. Sometimes if I'm super stressed and it's been going on for a while, it can take days. Days till I feel it, but uh, it's so beautiful. And then I feel peace and centered and bliss and joy and happiness and just a million other positive words when I'm in nature. And this is why where the RVs parked, there is no nature. There's one little trail with some trees, but uh, you know, grass and a few trees, it doesn't do anything to me like this. You see the background is actual nature. It's not like, you know, mowed lawn with a few stick trees here. That does nothing. Check this out. Check that out. So the San Francisco nature area is very cool also because you get the these amazing views and the ar architecture in the city I, I love looking at the different architectures and errors of design but driving in here is hell it, it is hell so you can see there's smoke and haze in the background man this is the craziest worst summer ever I've ever experienced in my life it's October but it's still like it's in the 90s, where my RV is 90s. And I get some aerobic exercise, which is the number one treatment. Everybody's saying is their treatment oxygen therapy, which uh, isn't covered by insurance and it's like $10,000. But oxygen working out, aerobic exercise, I'm in a shape is one of the number one therapies for brain injury. Uh, we can't get that. We can't get that by the RV. There are no hills. There's no hills. It's a valley. I don't know why anyone would live in a valley by choice. So also the smells. It just smells trees and nature. You get no smells in the valley. I, I don't smell trees in the valley. It's definitely time to go. I have to go anyway. Uh, cause they're getting a new RV, I gotta go. But, the smell, oh God, that makes me so happy. When you get out of there. Oh, uh, look at that, good workout. And it's actually uh, really good for Sophie to do new trails. You see, cause she's all new smells. It's like reading a, a new magazine. Whereas if we go on the same trails over and over, she gets bored, she's not as stimulated, uh, and she just walks right through it because it's not new smells. Hey, Unger. Wow, there's a lot of fun little trails here to explore. Yeah, I always feel better when I'm at a new place for exploring. As long as I have a place, wow. All right, let's go check them out, honey. It's a lot of choices. So this is so cool. I love the architecture here. It's like a Cape Cod. Modern. Victorian. 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 It's like a 60s. 
in this Victorian modern modern. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of ugly. It's probably from the 50s. Oh, look at that one. It's probably from the 20s. So cool. So I looked up why that is when I lived in Oakland. And so in Oakland, they were saying because when they would sell lot back in the 20s, when they'd sell lots, they didn't sell them right next to each other. They'd have like a lot here and the spaces and a lot here. So then maybe 10 years later, someone else moves in the middle of those. And so it's like a different era architecture. Decades later, someone moves in between those two. And that's why you have, you know, five to 10 decades of different architecture. Hill to climb. That one's really cool, kind of desert like in the city. Such a variety of trees. They have a map of the different trees. I mean, redwoods and cypress and what kind of cedar and spruce and trees I don't know their names of. Look, it looks like a little desert peak in the middle of San Francisco, Arizona. Memories. So, the views, there's the water out there and the Golden Gate Bridge is so weird, I think. Views aren't as nice in the fog. Look at that house, though. Wow, that's in my 1800s. Very cool. Look at that one. Look at the detail on these houses. You don't see that much anymore. San Francisco. <laughs> this way. That's what she does when she wants to go a certain direction. And I'll call her and she'll just keep going. this way. See? She, she's like, I want to go that way. That's what she does. So she doesn't pull or go crazy. She'll just stand there and look in the way. I don't know, honey. All right. I usually can let her have her way. So I really just need to get back. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. She's like, what, really? That wasn't very excitement, much excitement. Look, the chimneys remind me of that movie. What was that movie? Julie Andrews and the, was it Shitty Shitty Bang Bang? The, the fireplace guy? What was that movie? Shim Shim Cherie. That's all I remember. This car gets five stars for exercise. I give it five stars for everything, nature and views. There's a lot of ways and variety and you can just go up and down and up. Uh, switchbacks all the way up. And nice little variety, go all the way around. I mean, it's not huge, but for a city park, it's uh, five stars. <sighs> Let's go. So as far as exercise, I mean, there's switchback after switchback after switchback. Or you can go straight up the stairs, around the edges. I like the variety here a lot. I sound like Darth Vader, I'm in such bad shape. <sighs> redwood. He knows redwood. Okay. A lot of different ways. <sighs> Lots of trails here. I'm not sure what era that is because it's different than these. See, these are rounded. The rounded windows, half and half windows, square windows. So I wonder if they're from different eras. Does anyone know? 
Let's go. Look, more steps. A great part for aerobics. You guys, I haven't had a workout, aerobic workout, the whole entire time. So for maybe twice, I've been by the RV with the RV in that valley. This feels so good. I actually feel the next day, I kind of crashed the next day, but I need this. Oh God, look at that. That makes me happy. Happy. I used to be an athlete. You know, I'm not used to being out of shape. Although I don't know why they call out of shape. I've never had so much shape in all of my life.